Hi, my name is Dr. Timothy Immler. I am a assistant professor of medicine at the Indiana University School of Medicine and a research scientist at the Regan Streep Institute discussing clinical decision support with natural language processing facilitates determination of colonoscopy surveillance intervals on behalf of my colleagues. First, a couple of definitions. Natural language processing is computer extraction of meaningful information from text documents. And clinical decision support uses two or more items of patient data to generate case-specific recommendations. From a colonoscopy and pathology report, we can break it down by sentence, down to the word, a concept that is negated, or a concept that can be linked specifically to a terminology reference such as SNOMED CT. The concepts can be linked together using a programmatic means called regular expressions. And this can be a complex record linking across the document. Preliminary work that was published in clinical gastroenterology and hepatology showed an accuracy of 97% for natural language processing for the most advanced lesion, 97% for the location, and 84% for the number of tubular adenomas. All the requirements in order to generate a colonoscopy surveillance recommendation. Clinical decision support works that we take a provider, have a report generated, process this through NLP, put this through a guideline such as the Multi-Society Task Force, and find that there's one to two less than 10 millimeter tubular adenomas, and therefore our guideline recommendation is for five to 10 year repeat. And this can be communicated back to the provider. The study questions can a fully automated process of natural language processing and clinical decision support accurately provide a guideline-based surveillance interval. A gold standard was created between paired gastroenterologists asked to follow the U.S. Multi-Society Task Force 2012 guidelines for colonoscopy surveillance after screening and polypectomy. Discrepancies between the paired annotators was adjudicated by a third gastroenterologist. Surveillance intervals are broken into 10 years, 5 to 10 years, 3 years, 1 to 3 years, and physician requirement for a decision. Correlation between the clinical decision support process documents and the gold standard of physician review of the text documents was created as the primary outcome. The primary outcome was the correlation between the clinical decision support and natural language processing version versus the gold standard of manual review. Pearson's R was 0.813, which is interpreted as strong, and Cohen's kappa was 0.74, which is considered substantial. The cross-tabulation showed excellent accuracy across the most common measures of a 10-year follow-up and a 5-10 to year follow-up. However, there was decrease as the rarity of the event went down and the 1-3 to in the physician decision arms as the accuracy declined. The results showed a strong substantial correlation between paired manual gastroenterologist review and a fully automated system. The majority of missed intervals were due to NLP error or not accounting for certain clinical scenarios such as a mass lesion that did not show cancer. There are several limitations to our study. First is that this is a single medical center using templated endoscopy software. This is looking to be addressed with future studies that we are ongoing. The preparation quality was also not assessed by natural language processing and will need to be studied in the future to incorporate into surveillance intervals. Lastly, it does not incorporate large proximal hyperplastics or sesalcerated polyps into the algorithm, and this is being addressed again in an ongoing study. The conclusion is that natural language processing with clinical decision support is a promising technology for quality tracking and endoscopy for surveillance interval compliance. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to the video today and I invite you to submit any questions you have related to the study to me personally. Thank you.